Hello and welcome back to Miss Finance. Today we're going to have a look at some payroll journals and we're going to complete these through the use of T accounts which will hopefully help you get your head around what the journals are and how they sit on a T account. So let's get started. So here on the left we have gross wages of £70,000, income tax of £10,000, employees national insurance of £3,000, employer national insurance of £4,000, employee pension contributions of £800 and employer pension contributions of £1,000. So the first thing that we're going to do is work out what net wages are. So net wages are gross wages minus income tax minus employee national insurance minus employee pension contributions. So we don't want to include any of the employer national insurance or the employer pension contributions. So if we just do that calculation there we get a total of £56,200 for net wages. So I'm just going to highlight those in yellow for you there. So let's have a look at the first T account in the statement of profit and loss or income statement. So here we're going to put in gross wages of £70,000. And I know a lot of students get this mixed up and sometimes put the net wages figure in there. But we just want gross wages and you'll see why a little bit later on. So if we move on to the statement of financial position or the balance sheet, in a wages control account we're going to put net wages of 56200 here and that's going to be a credit. So what we're going to do is we're going to debit the statement of profit and loss or the income statement with the gross wages of 70000 and we're going to credit the wages control account with the net wages figure of 56200 Next, if we have a look at the, the pension nominal in the statement of profit and loss, we're going to put the employer's pension contribution, so not the employee's pension, we're going to put the employer's pension contribution of £1,000 here and that's going to be a debit because again that's an expense in the statement of profit and loss. So that's going to be debit £1,000 to the pension nominal. Next we'll look at national insurance. So this is a cost to the employer that's sat in the profit and loss. And equally, national insurance is also a cost in the employer that's sat in the profit and loss. So just remember that we're looking at wages from the point of view of the employer, not the employee. So here we're going to put the employer's national insurance of £4,000 here. And that again is going to be a debit to this national insurance nominal that's sat in the profit and loss account. So let's move on to the statement of financial position again. So what we're going to have here in the pension control account is both the employer's pension of £1,000 and the employee's pension of £800. So they're going to be set as credits in the pension control account because we're going to pay over the pension contributions to the pension authority. So they're going to be set as credits because we owe that money out of the business. So next if we look at national insurance and the PAYE control account, we want the employee's national insurance of £4,000 and we want the employee's national insurance of £3,000 sat here. And again, that's because we're going to pay the national insurance out to HMRC. With the pension nominal account, we're going to be paying that to the pension authority. And if you look at the wages control account, we're going to pay that money out to the employees in the business. So all of these are liabilities. It helps to think about that when you're thinking about the double entry and why they are credits and liabilities in the financial statements. So because this is the PEYE and national insurance account, we want to put the PEYE amount, so the pay as you earn income tax amount of £10,000 in there as well. So that's going to be a credit. So next, if we have a look at the bank account, what you'll see here is we have a balance brought forward of £60,000, but we're going to be making payments out of the bank. So when we make payments out of the bank, we're going to debit the control accounts and credit the bank, because if you remember, payments out of the bank are credits. So we're going to credit the net wages figure, the 56200 and we're going to debit the wages control account to balance that to zero. Then we're going to do exactly the same thing for the PAYE account and national insurance account, so that, that debits off. So we're going to credit the bank and debit PAYE and NI. So we're going to pay the, the income tax and the national insurance to HMRC there, so you can see that that now balances off. And then finally we're going to make the pension payment over to the pension authority. So again that's going to be a debit to the pension control account and a credit to the bank. So the balance carry forward in the bank is actually overdrawn now. So that's going to sit on the left hand side of this bank as you can see here. So if we do another example here. In this example gross wages are £80,000, income tax is £12,000, 
the employee's national insurance is 3,500 and the employer's national insurance is 4,020. Employee's pension contribution is 800 and employer's pension contribution is 1,200. So we'll do the same again. We'll start off with the P&L or the statement of profit and loss. We're going to debit gross wages with the 80,000 and then we're going to debit pension with employer's pension, which again is £1,200 and then we're going to debit the national insurance with the employer's national insurance of 4020 Then we're going to work out net wages. So net wages here comes to a total of 63700 So we're going to credit the wages control account in the statement of financial position with 63700 And then we're going to credit the pension control account with both the employer's pension of 1200 and the employee's pension of 800. And then we're also going to credit the National Insurance and PUIE control account with the employer's NI of 4,020, the employee's NI of 3,500, and the income tax total of 12,000 pounds. So if you want to see these double entries below, I'll just pop these here for you. So you've got debit, salary, and gross wages by 80,000 pounds. You've got a debit to the employer's pension nominal in the profit and loss of 1200 and a debit to employer's NI of 4020 So all of those are sat again in the profit and loss. And then you have a credit to net wages control account with the net wages total of 63700 And you have a credit to the pension control account of £2,000, which is both the employee and the employer pension total. And then we have a credit to National Insurance and PUIE of 19520 which is employer's NI, employee's NI, and the income tax. And as you can see here, both of those entries net off. So you can see that your debits and credits net to nil. So finally, if we have a look at the payment journal entries, what we're going to do is debit the wages control account with the 63700 to balance that off. We're going to credit the bank with the payment and then with the pension journal we're going to debit the pension control account with the £2,000 and we're going to credit the bank. And then finally with the National Insurance and PUIE journal we're going to debit National Insurance and PUIE with the 19520 and we're going to credit the bank. So if we had a balance brought forward in the bank of £100,000 what we'd see is that we had a balance carried forward of 14,780, which is a positive, so we're not overdrawn in this case. So I hope that helps with your understanding of payroll journals. Please consider subscribing and I shall see you on the next video.